Alco Data Products TS1, made in 1983. You can see the uh, keyboard design. Still lets air flow like that. Let's power this up. It's a beautiful sound. And there it is. It's alive. Now it's currently 2017. This was made in 1983. And you're thinking to yourself, how can I get this back online? Let's put it in block mode. How can I get this back online on the internet? And yet, in the back, you have these old school, if you will, RS-232 ports. And that's it. That's all you got. There's a motherboard down in here. You have a CRT, cathode ray tube. And you don't know how to get it on the internet. Well, without any soldering or anything, this is your solution. It's the Raspberry Pi with a serial board. And I will show you how I was able to do it. And you would definitely want to look at the uh, jumpers here and how that's set up. So when I was looking online, I could not find anything without people saying they had to do some crazy soldering or whatever. And so what I did is I went ahead and gambled and I got the serial card. They didn't quite have the jumpers set the way it was supposed to be. So in this configuration, it works perfectly. So you get, you need the Raspberry Pi motherboard, the serial card, which I'll put a link for all this in the video. And then you need a cable, so an RS-232 to the DB9, and that's it, and it works. So let me show you. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, there's some other setup stuff which I'm not going to go into, but I will show you um, essentially all of the parts I purchased and the sequence in which I kind of put everything together. So this is the power cord for the Raspberry Pi. We're going we're gonna to light that up first. Okay, like I said, first thing I'm gonna do is plug this guy in and activate this because if you connect it differently, let's make sure we got that in right. If you connect it up uh, the other way, then it ends up sending out some crazy ASCII characters which throws the terminal into a bit of a reboot situation. But this works, so what's happening right now is the Noob OS, which is running on the Raspberry Pi, is currently going through its boot sequence. Now there's also, on this particular, actually you can see right here, on this particular card, there, um, this is a, has a Wi-Fi enabled card, it's unbelievable, everything is packed in here, and that is an HDMI. Now I also, when I do my setup, and I did all the setup stuff, I did connect an external monitor um, so it, it's a lot easier to get everything set up ahead of time, downloading things, etc. Remember, it's all on this computer than the RS-232. So you can actually have both active at the same time. You can have an external computer attached through this and, and the uh, USBs. You can have uh, full uh, access to the uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, Linux, Noob, OS. And you can have the RS-232 running at the same time. So... That's cool. Now let's get the rest of it plugged in. That's the RS-232 here. Male, female here. The DB9, which goes into there. And this plugs into port A in the back. All right, let's plug it in. Okay, now in port A, we're gonna plug this piece in the RS-232. It's connected. Okay, now we're gonna plug in the DB9. Just like that. 
we go. I don't have a case yet for this, as you can see, it's fully exposed. Not the best case scenario. But this, all of this equipment, the cable, the motherboard, and the serial card, all of this combined was about $75, I think, in total. And it, it's a perfect solution. So, okay, now we've got this online. We've got the everything plugged in. Now let's go back to the terminal. All right, let's play a little bit of Empire. So, got a bunch of different games on here, but this one was a lot of fun. It's essentially war. The little dots are ocean. The pluses are earth or terra firma, if you will. And you've got the exercities <clears throat> and um, there's uppercase, lowercase, lowercase. In this case is my enemy. And you do the cursor keys to move. Now it's slow, not the terminal, but the computer, the Raspberry is not super fast. So it's doing a lot of, you can see I'm moving the submarine this way. I have so many moves. Here's an army. Now the army guy, I'm gonna set him on a random pattern. But this is cool. I actually have this computer terminal, which was built so long ago, is now online. And all that for like 75 bucks. Totally cool, no soldering, nothing crazy. And then like I said, you, have a, you can have an, an additional modern LCD monitor that you can sync up to this thing and, and you can do all the other functions that you need to do. So I've got that. We'll bail out of here. Oops. Clear list. All right, so <clears throat> oops. how do we get in here now? What else did I have? I'm a little rusty. I think in here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Here's a bunch of other games that it came with, like Trek, Star Trek, War Games. That was kind of weird. Um, would you like to play a game? <laughs> Remind you of a movie? Yes. A strange game. The only winning move is not to play. Aha, good sense of humor. Let's try that again. Let's do, oops, more games. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, apparently that's just kind of a CD track. No, track, I guess this is a Star Trek. Here we go. Um, question mark. Let's do a short game. What skill? Novice, enter a password. Okay, it takes 200 physics to kill a Klingon. So, <clears throat> those of you who played this before back in the past, uh, let me do this. I forget where, how you do the visual. Somewhere you do a map. Wow, this gets really interesting. I mean, but this is these were how you played games back in the day. Anyway, we'll get out of that one. Oh, what was the other one? Rain. It just simulates rain on the screen. Don't know the point of that, but you can see like the drops falling and creating. <clears throat> What else? Battlestar. So, anyway, this is it. Let me know what you think. I'll, uh, again, I'll post the, the inventory list, the Amazon items you need to get. If you're interested, you too can then have your legacy computer terminal back online via this guy right here. Cool. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Hopefully you can see that. All right, there we go. Rock and solid. 
All right. Take care. Bye.